We lose two legends. Thor is a receptionist. Daredevil's yeah. getting punished. And Apple on Android? Hmm, coming up on ICYMI, just in case you missed it. Loading snacks. <laughs> All right, so check it out, guys. Welcome to Loading Snacks. Yes, we're back again. I see why I'm on hashtag, right? Just in case you guys miss it out there. Just supposing. Just a little. You missed a tad. Um, some sad news. Very sad, yeah. Yeah. So, we lost WWE... Dusty Rhodes this week. Legend. Yes. Hall of Famer Dusty Rhodes at age 69, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um... You got quick memories of Dusty Rhodes, man? <laughs> quick memories? No, I have no quick memories. Oh, you got all the uh, uh, winded memories. That, that, that's just, yeah, just just years of growing up, Listen. watching him and right. Hulk and Randy right. and everybody out there, Mr. Perfect, everybody yeah. out there, out there do their thing, you know what I mean? Just just nothing but fond memories of the dude. I'm nothing you, but fond I think Dusty of. Rhodes was actually one of the first wrestlers whose name I learned. Like, my, my grandfather was so into wrestling, you know, WCW, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? No, I'm sorry, not wrestling, wrestling. Wrestling. Right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he would talk about Dusty Rhodes, and I, you know, then I got, you know, then I started right. in the Rock and Roll Express and all that. Like, mm. they, those was my boys, right? They had the Rock and Roll Express and then Legion of Doom and all that. But right. Dusty Rhodes was just, like, a straight-up staple. So, he yeah, would truly definitely. be missed. Um, on 100%. the same note, essentially at the same time, we also lost screen legend Christopher Lee. Yeah. Um... This is the man who was essentially like the original Dracula. Like mm -hmm. he 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 played Dracula. Now for mo for most of you guys and gals watching, you would know him from Lord of the Rings, Sauron, right? Right? You would know him or Count Dooku. Count Dooku from Star Wars. <clears throat> from Star Wars. So, um, you know, he died at ninety three. So we're talking a true legend. Yeah. You know, somebody who who really and truly made a mark. Um, in cinema, yeah, in, in cinema, and so they'll 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 both be sorely missed. Yes, very much so. Sorely missed. Um, with that said, what else we got? So Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghostbusters, yes. Now we know that they're attempting to do a Ghostbusters franchise. Right. We know that they're doing an all female cast. All female cast. They're doing an all male cast. Yes, they are. But we just heard. Yeah. The word. Yes. That the female cast is yes. getting some very unfemale testosterone yeah. kicked their way. Yeah, in, in, in the shape of uh, the son of Odin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the long haired locks of lightning. Yes. <laughs> Thor is coming to the all female cast of Ghostbusters, yeah. but not as a Ghostbuster. No. Chris Hemsworth will be a receptionist. Yes. It's probably gonna be hilarious. That, that's the first thing that came into my mind. Like that's gonna be too damn funny for some reason. I don't know why yet until I see the previews. I personally, I think it will be way funnier if he maintains his natural accent instead of instead of instead of trying to have like an American accent uh -huh. or whatever. Like I just feel like it'll be funnier if he maintains that. We'll see. Yeah, we're definitely gonna see. But I'm, we'll see. That I'm, I'm looking forward to it a little more just because of that that aspect they threw into. I like the idea of him him kind of spreading his acting wings and, and mm -hmm. doing something other than what we're used to seeing. Right. Um, like, you know, Black Hat. It still was an action thing. You right. know what I mean? So, I'm glad to see that. Uh, what else we got? Okay. Everybody take a moment. Okay. Daredevil. Yes. So good. <clears throat> yes. If you haven't, you should. Right, K? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, get on okay. that. Yeah. Get on that. Yeah. Straight slipping. Um, so... Come on. We know Daredevil season two was announced. Yes. We also know that Marvel recently reacquired some of their characters in terms right. of being able to put them into television and cinema and right. what have you. One of whom was the Punisher. And, and he is coming to season two of Daredevil. Yeah, so John. Serves off, so Punisher fans rejoice off that right No there. doubt. That means bullet holes for... Listen, yeah. let me tell you something. If you thought season one of Daredevil Preach. was gruesome and bloody, I'm expecting the worst from right Daredevil, now. From like, with Daredevil Punisher? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. expecting the worst. I'm expecting a, a high body count. The be I'm expecting high a high body, body count, count. Major loadouts. You understand? Oh, yes. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Um, John Bernthal from... Who? A.K.A. Shane from The Walking Dead. 
He doesn't know. I know. Y'all know do I'm walking. dead. Listen. <laughs> Y'all know you I'm dead. You hate me now. I don't do Walking Dead. But Shane from The Walking Dead is going to be our new Punisher. <clears throat> K, you not happy about that? No, no. K isn't. I, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm cool, cool with, with it. it too because when I looked at the pictures of the Punisher and I looked at the dude's face, I was like, mm mm. Well, that and plus seeing Shane in Walking Dead, like, okay, yeah. Just from seeing his character in that scene, okay, you there's aspects you could take and. It carries over. Yeah, it carries I, over I, I, well. I, can, I can see certain aspects carrying over, yeah. I could dig that. Probably the biggest news of the week um, that's not video game related. We're not going to touch on that. We're going to leave video games alone this time. Sort of. So, Apple's WWDC 2015 was this past week, and it's it's the Worldwide Developers Conference. So, Apple basically holds this every year, um, and it's essentially where they come out and they announce what's new and what's big and what's happening in the world of Apple okay. and yeah. iOS and what have you. So, I'm going to run through a list of some of the the announcements okay. um, that were made, first and foremost being iOS 9. So... Clearly, that's going to make its way to iPhones, iPods, iPads. They're all getting iOS 9, which is clearly going to have some improvements. Um, OS X El Capitan is coming to replace OS X Yosemite. Um, the, the iPad is finally going to get multitasking. So... Um, there are multiple tablets and, and, and what have you on the market that do do multitasking in terms of being able to display two things on screen at once or multiple things on screen at once and for you to be able to work within two applications or multiple applications at once. The iPad is finally getting that. So that's something people have been asking for. I'm glad to see them giving that, okay. giving that to them. Um, but probably the biggest news that came out of this was um, Apple Music. So, Apple acquired Beats like a year ago. Right. Um, and this big deal with Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre um, for like three billion dollars. A lot so of pesos. This is the this is the culmination of 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 that. And you know, we kind of we knew that that Apple was doing this to go after a streaming service. They wanted to have a streaming service. We've come to realize that. People paying for music in terms of buying individual songs or buying albums is essentially dying off. And we're seeing tons of streaming services mm -hmm. kind of, you know, make their way. Stuff like Spotify, Pandora, stuff you pay for, stuff you don't. Um, mm -hmm. At this point, a lot of people just pay like a $10 monthly fee and just stream whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And don't necessarily look to have ownership over their music. Um, but this is more than just a streaming service. So I'm going to run down a little bit of what... Of, of what's there so um you're gonna get curated playlists which is is a it's a good thing it's a big deal um you're gonna get music videos um yeah. and probably the, the the biggest thing so they announced that there's gonna be something called beats one which is a 24 hour a day live radio station um, that will stream along with this service. Um, the service is starting off at like $10 a month. Um, this is included. Um, and it's DJs in London, in New York, and in LA. Okay. Um, now they could expand it, you know, right. in, in the future. Um, but that's kind of a big deal to have a live radio station that is encompassed in getting... In a streaming service. In, into a streaming service, yeah. Okay. Um, so... You know, I like that, but probably the biggest shocker of all is that this service, the Apple Music service, is actually going to be available. It's, so it'll be available at the end of this month. So at the end of June, it's going to be available on, you know, your iPhone and iPads and all that kind of stuff. But in the fall, it's actually coming to Android devices. Yay! This is something we don't see Apple do. Nah. Um, they keep their stuff. In house, it's mine. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> no, no touching. No, it's, give us us ours. Not at all. <laughs> Just yeah. This is that's that's not a normal thing for them. But to see them kind of make that step and recognize, you know what? It's there smart. are a lot of people out here who just don't like us. Like don't don't buy our products. And based on that, there's still money out here to get. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm in all of my heart. That's Jimmy Iovine going. You better go get this money. <laughs> that is Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre going. Why would you leave? We have this great service. Why would you leave that? Why would you leave, leave all that money, money on the table? On the table? Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. So, um, that pretty much wrapped that up. Yeah, nice little bow. Yeah. Pretty, li pretty little bow. Pretty little bow. Nice tight bow. Pretty little yeah. bow. Yes. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, that was, in case you missed it. I see why am I. No doubt. Hashtag. Hashtag in front of that. Do us a favor. If you liked what you heard, if you liked what you saw, if you felt what we said. It's a red button at the bottom. We would please that. welcome push you to click. Call subscribe. Please. Hit we really that appreciate subscribe it. subscribe really button. Yes. Please. I got to pay for these glasses. He really do. <laughs> nah. I, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, nah, yeah, please hit the subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, at Loading Snack. Comment, talk with us, we'll talk back, the whole nine yards, I, we're here to... I respond. Yeah, we, we, like, we're here to start a dialogue. Follow us on Instagram, we got an Instagram now. Yes, follow we us do. on Instagram, at Loading Snack. Yes. Follow me, at Empty Shells, on Instagram and on Twitter. You know, you can follow me, at Sincere619, all the same places. All the same places. Yeah. And do us a favor. Go ahead, follow Coop too. Yeah, he, he needs some love. Go ahead, follow him too. He needs I'm some not love. gonna say his name. You're gonna have to go back and <laughs> the video, and they gonna tell you where it is. Yeah. Okay. Would you? We, are you gonna put it on the bottom of the screen when we do this? Is it gonna be like right here? No. You're not gonna do no. it. No. My man. You're, you're just surrounded by Spider-Man too. If you do want to put it. That. Up. <laughs> hashtag. <Chris Lord. laughs> that. Was I seeing why am I on something like that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice, 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 nice That's what it is. We out. Nigga. Uh...